Okay. Um, this is a problem called apple and orange. Uh, it's an easy problem, as you can see here. And basically, you can read it, but basically, um, there is a house, and there's two trees, and this is an X axis, and uh, the the house dimensions or where does it start and end is uh, being represented by these two points so s where the house starts and t where the house ends so point for example five and uh, seven and there's two trees that three a for apple and three b for uh, oranges <laughs> uh, and these also two points so the question sh says uh, these two trees drop uh, apples and oranges and uh, for each uh, fruit they drop this fruit can uh, like they fall in so they move uh, to a specific point to the x-axis and they don't give you the point they give you how many steps does the, does each fruit uh, moves when it when it's dropped down so for example if uh, an orange fruit drops five steps so it's positive five it will move to the right five steps from point B from the tree itself and if uh, orange fruit drops and they give you for example minus four it will move to the left from the B point minus four and for the same thing for uh, the apple tree so if they give you five so so this, this yeah so if they give you five for the apple that drops it will move five points to the right minus five will move um, five points to the left so here they give you a good example so we have the house sam's house between s equal to seven and ten okay and there is the apple tree is located at position a which is four and we can ignore b but a is four and these are the apples are array of integers this is the distance that each fruit crossed when it's dropped down so the first one two steps it's positive so to the right the second one so yeah the second one is three steps to the right the third one is four steps to the left since it's negative and the question says uh, after each fruit drops find out how many apple fruits uh, now is located in Sam's house and how many orange fruits fruits are located also in, our, in Sam's house so for, for this example 2 plus the position of a uh, is 6 6 is not in the in Sam's house and for this one is a 3 3 plus 4 is 7 so it's in Sam's house and this one minus 4 plus 4 you can just plus them so it's 0 it's not in Sam's house so the result is 1 you can do the same for B the result is 2 so I think this is fairly simple uh, I will use JavaScript they tell you to put your code here and they give you the arguments so the first thing you can solve it in many ways they just want you to console log the results each one on a different line so the first thing I will create a variable called apple this and I will use the apples array and first thing I will uh, uh, plus the plus each value when the apples array which uh, says how many steps the fruit moves to the position of a which is the tree so I will use map for that and number uh, e will be number plus a and then I will filter that array, the result, after where is the new position for each fruit. So I will filter that uh, by where number, the new number, is bigger than or equal the start of the house. And so it's between the start and the end. And number is less than or equal the end. And, add, and finally I will need the length of the result array, so dot length that's it and the same thing so I will copy this for the orange result so oranges here's I need to plus the P the position of the orange tree and this stays the same 
and I need to console log for Apple this I think I think I can do this or use two console logs so orange this on the on the code okay let me just use two console logs they this gets outputted for some reason so okay let me submit so our test is fine okay fine it's all done